Hello and welcome to this new video tutorial of Magento 2 Marketplace Windows Subdomain Plugin and in today's video tutorial we'll be showing you how the store admin would be able to allow the seller's subdomain from the admin backend panel and apart from that we'll also be showing you how the uh, uh, URLs get changed after a seller wants to uh, sell his products uh, within his own uh, subdomain within the Magento 2 multi vendor Marketplace by uh, web pool and uh, thereafter we'll also be showing you the other details as well so uh, first of all let's go to the web store front end and let's see uh, uh, the different uh, pages of the sellers and the url for the same and let's see how the vendors can make use of their subdomain so uh, before moving uh, forward to the uh, web store front end for the image into multi vendor marketplace by web pool uh, let me give you a small gist about the plugin itself so uh, basically the uh, plugin allows the sellers to sell the products on their subdomain or domain and uh, the main purpose, main purpose of the subdomain is to create a memorable URLs for the different content areas of the website. Henceforth here we allow the creation of the URLs for the each vendor's page under the vendor's subdomain or domain and uh, the seller need to purchase a domain uh, for that. and. Uh, Thus, uh, the customer would be allowed to purchase the products from the respective domain of the seller. And uh, this basically builds a uniqueness for the seller with the existence of a separate domain. However, the admin can also allow the vendors to only display their products on their own subdomain or domain. And uh, additionally, the admin would be able to sell uh, his products as well along with the seller's product at the vendor's subdomain or domain. And, uh, Apart from that, uh, we have four different uh, pages for the sellers uh, that would uh, come under the uh, subdomain or domain. And uh, whenever a customer reaches those four pages, they'll be able to see uh, the seller's uh, subdomain or domain there uh, along with the uh, store name. And uh, that is uh, unique for that particular uh, respective seller itself. And similarly for the rest of the marketplace sellers as well. So right now here you can see that uh, at the top in the URL, we have the uh, vendor subdomain dot dot com forward slash customer and account so this is the domain uh, subdomain there uh, that is uh, visible uh, to the customers for the complete uh, store so if a customer goes to the product page or any other page within the uh, within the web store itself or on the home page then uh, the customer would be able to see the vendor subdomain dot dot com and uh, if uh, specifically uh, we go to the uh, seller's uh, profile page so for that i'll just take you there so uh, as i've already logged into my account so after that i've navigated to my seller profile and here as well you can see that we have the sender uh, vendor subdomain dot webpool dot com and if i scroll down and uh, here i'll be opening the profile and the collection pages for the seller so uh, let me tap here so this is uh, the uh, seller page or the profile page of the uh, seller the name of the uh, seller and the location is here and the rest of the details with the tabs as well as you can see so here if we check uh, the uh, url of the uh, store then you can see uh, that it's shop hyphen gear hyphen store dot uh, when the subdomain dot webcool.com so that's how uh, uh, it would appear to the customers uh, so this particular URL is for the uh, respective seller for the uh, uh, who has a uh, name for the uh, uh, subdomain as well being listed here shop case store now that this is the uh, profile page of the uh, seller now if we go to the uh, collection page of the seller so this is the seller's collection page here as well you will be able to see the specific uh, subdomain for the seller that's the shop hyphen gear hyphen store dot web vendor subdomain dot com forward slash uh, collection so the subdomain basically creates these uh, uh, individual pages for each of the respective sellers in the marketplace and now let's go to the uh, reviews uh, page uh, or the product page as well so right now i'm at the product page as you can see so if the admin has enabled the uh, seller uh, uh, subdomain then uh, here you can see that when i've uh, arrived on this particular product that's uh, the uh, product of uh, the gay store seller 
you can see still uh, at the top we have the URL that's the shop hyphen gear hyphen store dot web uh, vendor subdomain dot web quill dot com and forward slash the product name so when the admin sets this uh, functionality to enable the uh, vendor uh, subdomain or domain at that time if it's enabled then uh, all of these uh, sections like the seller profile page collection page feedback previews and the product uh, pages would uh, show the seller's uh, subdomain as you can see here and if that uh, particular uh, setting is uh, uh, switched off then only uh, the customers would be able to see the vendor subdomain.webcool.com and the rest of the details so for example if i go to the home page right now so we know that uh, the seller subdomain is visible here so if i open the home page and let's see what happens there what uh, kind of url is there uh, for the home page and in between let me go to the uh, reviews page and at the top still we have the shop hyphen gear hyphen store dot web uh, dot window subdomain dot web dot com forward slash feedback so uh, this plugin creates these four uh, pages for uh, the uh, domain that the, uh, the seller has purchased and that domain name uh, is to be added in the admin backend panel under the uh, window subdomain uh, plugin initial configuration settings so let's go to the home page so right now you can see the page is loading up and at the top you can see that we have the vendor subdomain.webcool.com so there's no uh, subdomain for the uh, uh, respective sellers now if i go to any of the uh, categories let's go to the jackets and let's see what different uh, url is there for that particular uh, product so here we are on the jackets uh, right now collection page and uh, here we can see that still there's no uh, sellers subdomain there now if i go to our product page normally and let's see what uh, so right now you can see still we don't have the seller uh, subdomain there but we have the vendor subdomain.webcool.com so uh, this uh, vendor subdomain uh, is when enabled then only the four pages will show the seller's uh, domain or the subdomain and the rest of the pages like the home page product page uh, and the other pages would have the uh, store domain and uh, if uh, this uh, option is uh, disabled by the admin then uh, uh, the four pages of the sellers would uh, appear as normal uh, that's the vendor of uh, domain dot web dot com otherwise when enabled then this seller will have be able to display his uh, subdomain or domain and the customers can reach uh, any of the sellers uh, sub uh, domain so because this is uh, much more easier for them to search and from there if uh, a customer opens any product for example if i open this product then this one also will be having the subdomain of the seller showing that uh, the respective product is of the seller itself and so you can see that we have shop uh, shop hyphen gear hyphen store then vendor subdomain dot and we are on the product page that we have navigated from the seller's uh, profile page so i uh, think that you would have uh, now uh, understood the uh, uh, domain how the uh, domain or the subdomain can be used by the seller's uh, profile page uh, feedback and review page collection page and the product page uh, that shows that uh, those pages are related to the specific seller itself and uh, i showed you apart from those four pages if uh, the customer visits any of the other pages then uh, the uh, option or the URL would only be vendor subdomain.webcool.com as required. So, uh, this was the product page, this was the collection page for the seller with the uh, seller subdomain, and uh, this was the seller's product. And this was a normal product uh, that we navigated by navigating through the uh, categories. So uh, that's why it has uh, only the vendor subdomain.webcool.com and not the seller specific domain or the subdomain. And uh, lastly, here also you can see that we have the seller specific uh, a domain or the subdomain name for the seller's uh, feedback and review page. So uh, now let's go to the admin backend panel and let's see what different initial configuration settings are required for the Amazon to do vendor subdomain plugin. So for that, let me take you to the admin backend panel now. So here I'm at the uh, Magento 2 web store backend and I'll be logging into my admin account for my Magento 2 web store. And uh, thereafter we'll be navigating through, uh, so for that I'll just scroll down a bit. 
so now we'll be scrolling through stores and uh, then uh, configuration so after successful installation uh, of the uh, multi vendor marketplace because uh, the seller subdomain is the add-on for the modern to do multi vendor marketplace by webpool so under the webpool block on the configuration page the uh, admin just needs to navigate to the marketplace first and under marketplace the ad, uh, the admin uh, will have to go to the uh, settings by going to the seller profile page settings as you can see here under the marketplace itself so let me scroll down a bit and uh, here uh, the admin needs to set up the rewrite seller shop url to no and allow to automatic create seller public url on the seller registration so this option as uh, well is to be uh, chosen as no so because uh, if we choose both of them as yes then automatically the uh, seller uh, uh, public urls would be created uh, on the seller registration from the web store front end and they would uh, uh, look like this the website name and seller shop url along with the collection etc etc so this was the main configuration first under the marketplace uh, that's the uh, main uh, module and uh, now let's come to the uh, seller subdomain add-on for the marketplace let me tap that up and that would bring up the uh, configuration settings for the seller subdomain and here we have two different uh, configurations to set up one is the general uh, one is the global seller dom uh, subdomain settings and the other one is the customer vendor subdomain settings now let's go to the global seller uh, uh, subdomain settings and uh, here uh, uh, if the admin enables it uh, by choosing the option as yes and uh, then uh, what uh, is done is that uh, then the other fields uh, uh, would be uh, appearing so for example if I disable it I set it as no then you can see that there there are no options to choose but if I choose it as a yes then the admin would be able to set up a prefix uh, uh, that gets added before the uh, website address itself so here you can see that the prefix shop url so it uh, gets visible at the web store front end like the shop underscore url dot web dot window subdomain dot web dot com so you can set up anything as per your own requirement there uh, as the prefix then uh, you can choose uh, the option that's the display only sellers pages on the seller domain if you set this option as a yes then uh, only the sellers uh, pages would be uh, on the sellers domain otherwise if uh, the admin wants to uh, show his products as well on the seller domain then the admin needs to choose this option as a no if it is chosen as a no then we need to set up the display admin products on category page so you can choose this as a yes or a no chosen as yes then the seller then the admins products would be displayed at the sellers collection page as well now let's go to the customer vendor domain settings and here the admin can set up uh, this option as a yes or a no so if we set this option as a yes then you'll have to set your url for each window under the customer edit and the vendor domain option so if you choose this as a yes thereafter you just need to tap here on the save configuration button uh, to save the configuration uh, settings also before uh, moving further for uh, example if uh, this option is enabled uh, to yes then the vendors would be able to allow having their own domains and the uh, that can be uh, with uh, the uh, as per the uh, store web wise and in this case uh, the vendors uh, page url will come under the vendor domain itself and also note that uh, if uh, the above setting is uh, like this setting if it is uh, set to yes then the admin can provide uh, the domain name of each vendor that is store view wise so uh, for that i will just show you uh, how the admin can set that up if it is ha it has been chosen as yes so for that i'll just navigate through customers and all customers i'll let the configuration settings come up so uh, this was uh, the initial configuration for the marketplace and the seller sub uh, domain uh, plugin itself and i hope it uh, helped you out now let's see how the uh, admin can set up the seller domain if uh, this option customer vendor subdomain setting is enabled from the admin backend panel so with that we'll go to the customers uh, section and uh, from here we can edit the uh, seller profile so for example uh, right now let's go to uh, john doe 
and let me tap here on the edit uh, link under the actions column and that will bring up the edit customer page or the window page so here we are on the customers page or the windows page and here the admin can set up the seller domain by uh, navigating or by scrolling down to the section that's the vendor domain if we tap that up uh, from here the admin can enter the vendor domain that the uh, vendor wants to set up and uh, accordingly then the pages would be visible on the windows domain and this can be set up as uh, according to your uh, store views so if you have four different store views you can set the url for the four different uh, uh, store views there also uh, the uh, uh, window would uh, be a, should have a, or what we say as uh, the admin uh, basically the seller would have to uh, purchase a domain uh, before it can be used by the admin under the vendor domain settings uh, that we have just shown you so you need so as a seller you need to have your domain uh, name first and that is to be uh, purchased and apart from that uh, some bit of server configuration is also required before making uh, or setting up the uh, uh, seller subdomain for the different store waves uh, within your Magento 2 web store that you have or the Magento 2 multi vendor web store so that was how the admin can set up the uh, details uh, for the seller subdomain under the seller edit page or the customer edit page on that itself and lastly uh, let me choose this uh, option as no and this one as no and let me tap here on the save configuration button so if we have uh, disabled the global seller uh, subdom sub uh, domain settings and the customer window subdomain settings now if i go to the uh, seller profile page so i'll just log in for the seller's account so right now you can see we are on the window subdomain.webkill.com so I've logged into my seller account. Let me go to my account section. And uh, thereafter we'll be going, uh, going to the uh, section that's uh, the seller profile. And on the seller profile page, we'll just scroll down to the end. And we'll open the view profile and the view collection pages. And let me close this out. And, uh, and now as we have said these, both of the, these uh, options as no, that's the global seller subdomain settings as well as the customer vendor subdomain settings and now if i go to the seller's profile page and the collection page let me show you what url will be uh, displayed at that uh, particular url address section so here you can see that we have it as a vendor subdomain and we have seller profile shop gay store and uh, and uh, the address of the uh, store itself at the end so or the end point is the gear store now if i go to the uh, collection page let me open one product page as well from the uh, seller's profile page and i've opened the uh, product page and i'll also open the uh, reviews page so i'll just open that up in another window so here when the uh, configuration setting is set to no you'll be able to see that we have just uh, the window subdomain dot uh, visible in the URL and uh, now if we go to the product category and the review pages we will also be able to see the same uh, URL that we have uh, but uh, just the uh, endpoint would be changed so for example we have it as a seller profile shop gear store and we'll have it different with the other pages so we are on the sellers collection page and here you can see that right now we don't have the sellers subdomain we only have the vendor subdomain.webkill.com and here is the shop and the gay store page now let's go to the product uh, page and the reviews page so this was the collection page of uh, the seller if you note that uh, if you have noted that uh, when we opened the product from the seller's collection page we had the seller's domain or the subdomain uh, visible in the product uh, pages url but now right now we'll see that it won't be there and now you can see that on the product page as well we are not able to see the seller subdomain on the domain and uh, same goes for the reviews page as well we are on the feedback page and there's no seller subdomain there and uh, this is the uh, review page itself so that was much about the magenta 2 multi vendor marketplace uh, weather subdomain plugin and i hope it helped you out in understanding the flow there 
and if you still have any questions or queries or suggestions regarding this particular plugin then you can always get back to us at support at the rate of webcool.com or you may raise it to get at webcool.uvidus.com thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day ahead